Um, here we go again, Madam Speaker. Republicans are once again going back on their promises for a more open, more transparent House of Representatives. Another martial law rule designed to fix problems of their own doing. Another effort to break the rules just to fix their own mess. And it didn't have to be this way. For months, we have known that more disaster assistance was needed to address the aftermath of the tragedy in Joplin, and more recently, the damage caused by Irene as it made its way from North Carolina up the East Coast into New England. Americans respond to natural disasters. That's what we do. We always have. We rise to the occasion when our neighbors are in need. The problem is when politicians start playing politics with people's lives. And that's where we find ourselves today. Yesterday, the Republican leadership brought a continuing resolution to the floor that not only provided less disaster assistance to the Senate, it also offset that funding by cutting a green jobs initiative. It's not enough that we've been in session 261 days without a single jobs proposal from the Republicans. With yesterday's continuing resolution, Republicans actually proposed cutting a jobs program just to make political points with their Tea Party base. Yesterday, Democrats said enough. Enough to the job-killing Republican agenda. Enough to the notion that fiscal austerity means turning our backs on people in need. Enough to the my way or the highway attitude that seems to make up the ideology of the Republican leadership. Yesterday, 48 Republicans joined 182 Democrats in defeating the continuing resolution yesterday. According to Politico, it was, and I quote, an embarrassing setback, end quote. Yesterday, Republicans and Democrats said, uh, don't play games with the lives of Americans. It's almost as if the Republicans blame the victims of the hurricane and tornado for having the audacity to live in the past of those natural disasters. And so here we are again, forced to consider a martial law rule in an attempt to fix the problems that the Republicans themselves created. A martial law rule that not only waives the rules of the House, but also allows for the immediate consideration of a new continuing resolution. No time to read the bill, even though the Republicans started out the year by promising 72 hours to look at any legislation voted on in the House. No time to read the bill. No ability to amend the bill. So much for the new open Congress. It wasn't too long ago that my, colleague on the rules, uh, my colleagues on the Rules Committee were touting the new open Congress. Look how far this new Republican House has fallen. Madam Speaker, it is disappointing that we're here today. It's disappointing that the Republicans are making a mockery of the legislative process. It's disappointing that they continue to choose politics over the American people. The American people deserve better than this. With that, Madam Speaker.